Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a heart with a metallic rim around it and then um, you can do some cool effects with it like cut a uh, puzzle block out or write a name in it or whatever other cool ideas you can come up with. The first thing you need to do is create a new board and then we're going to use the pen tool to start drawing our heart. I want my heart to be symmetrical so I only drew one half. Now what I'm going to do is select the entire heart, make a copy of it, go to objects, transform, and reflect. After you click on reflect you'll want to use the vertical option when you hit OK it's going to flip your object the other direction. You'll add the objects together, highlight both of them, and under your uh, Pathfinder palette, you'll use the Unite option to unite the object. Now you have one solid object. We're now going to make a duplicate heart because we're going to need it a little bit down the road. So I'm going to select the heart, make a copy, drag the copy off here. We'll use it in a little while. We're going to add a gradient effect to the original heart. So I'm going to click the gradient right here and the heart. And I'm going to click on the slider here four or five times to add some uh, different colors to it. And we're going to stick with the white, grays, and blacks. So just uh, pick some colors in, in between uh, for each slider. Um, go f some of them dark, some light. You want it to kind of give a metallic look, um, kind of like some metal reflecting. Next we will select the other heart and we're going to change the color to a red color. You can kind of pick whatever color that you want. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go with a kind of a, a base red. And we're going to scale this down just a tiny bit. I'm holding shift so that it um, scales it down proportionally. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Now you can move the red heart on top of the uh, metallic looking heart. And as you can see, it kind of gives it a 3D feel and kind of looks like metal around the, the edge of the heart. Um, if you like how it looks, you can stop there, or we can add some uh, additional things to this to make it a little bit neater. Um, so I'm going to show you one more step that I like to do. So I'm going to pull this heart back off, and I'm going to create a little puzzle piece. So I'm going to select my rectangle tool, make a little small rectangle, and change it to a different color just to make it easier to work with. Now I'm going to zoom in just so I'm uh, working a little bit easier with this uh, puzzle piece. So the next thing I'm going to do is use the pen tool and I'm going to kind of draw the, uh, the pieces of the puzzle that stick out. So I'll start right here and you can create it however you want. I'm just making it kind of a basic shape.
now that we have our shape, we're going to make a couple copies of it. And we're going to rotate one of them. Put it together. And I'm going to unite them. Another one, I'm going to kind of scale it down a little bit so it's a little bit different shape. Maybe even squeeze it in a little bit. And with this one, I will connect here and unite them. This one I'm going to distort a little bit. And I'm going to rotate it. Now with this one, I'm going to I'm gonna actually make it a little bit shorter so it doesn't take too much of the puzzle up. And with this one, we're going to use the option to exclude. There's our puzzle piece. We could go ahead and um, duplicate this one one more. So we can actually cut two pieces out. Now I'm going to highlight the object and I'm going to make another copy of it. One copy I'm going to move to the side. And this one I'm going to put in my heart. And I'm going to do the exclude. Change the color of this back to uh, whatever color I want. Now when we place it on our metallic heart, you can see through it. And we want our puzzle piece to be the same color, so I'm going to use the eyedropper tool. Select that. And there we go. And that is how you make a heart logo or a heart object with a puzzle piece or you can cut out a name. Um, you can do lots of cool things with this. Um, just experiment and um, see what you can come up with.